What's up guys? On this episode of Build Dad Build, I'm going to show you guys how to get that burnt wood finish that I love so much. You might even call it Shoshigi Bond. Alright guys, before we get to the burning, I figured we'd go over a couple of tools. I'll link to the tools I use down in the description down below, um, or tools like mine. So I have three different torches now. When I started out, I had one torch. So you don't need all these torches to start out. As I continue to burn more projects, I, I just wanted to branch out a little bit. So first, here's Big Daddy. This is also used to kill weeds. I think if you look up weed torch, uh, you'll find this on the Googles. And this hooks up to a propane tank uh, like you'd have on your grill. I actually just used the same one that I use on my gas grill. This is what I use when I need to burn a lot of material or I have a large surface area because you get a smaller torch and it just takes forever. Ah. Speaking of a smaller torch, this is the torch I started out with. I have since, and this is just a can of propane, man, propane torch, had, uh, used to have this nozzle on it, switched over to a quick, quick igniter, and if you look, the mouth on that's a little wider, this is a little thinner. I, I use this now for detailing. So when I want to get to like kind of a little, or if I want to do a small piece. And this is my third torch. This has a very specific use, but we'll get to that later. Now let's talk about the boring stuff. Safety. You may not see it on camera, but I have this behind the scenes every time I'm gonna burn any sort of material. First, it's just a big bucket of water. Y'all know what water looks like, right? The main reason I use this is I, if I have a smaller piece and it catches on fire and I can't get it under control, I can throw it in the bucket. I can also pick the bucket up and dump it on a larger piece if I need to. Never had to do that, but it's always sitting right there. Uh, what I use most often is just this little spray bottle of water. I use this mainly to keep flare-ups to a minimum. Sometimes, uh, you know, one piece, of, uh, just a little corner or something will catch on fire and it'll keep burning. And last, as far as fire prevention goes, is a fire extinguisher. They ain't cheap, but I'd rather have one and not need it than need one and not have it. Two other safety-related items. One, safety glasses. People are like, Nick, why do you need safety goggles when you're burning stuff? Well, sometimes you get a little bit of a uh, sap that'll pop off, uh, especially around knots. And I've actually had it get me in the arm and it is not pleasant when it's heated up to where it's so hot it's, it's popping because it's pretty much boiling at that point in time. Uh, I don't want hot sap on my eyeballs. So our safety glasses. And the other thing is a pair of gloves. Uh, it's just when you're handling the material, it's still hot. Uh, Sometimes if you're holding a piece, like a smaller piece, uh, you may not really have thought through the direction that the heat is going to travel, and sometimes it can travel right up there and get you. So I always, uh, just a pair of work gloves, uh, mainly so you can reach down and grab a piece after it's been freshly burned and you don't really have to worry about it burning you. So once you get to this point, you can be done, but <clears throat> you can take this further, which is what I'm gonna do. Right now, we have your mid-tones and your darks. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come in and with just a little bit of sandpaper, I'm gonna hit some, of, some, some areas to just kind of get through a little bit of that brown down to some lighter color again. This is a step that most of the time you don't see anybody do because sanding is boring. But if, so I probably won't have a, a lot of the actual sanding 
on video, but I wanted to mention this step because this is where you can take your pretty good looking piece and make it a little bit better. First, we have this piece that I did that's blue stain. Pretty cool. Next up, I just have a, a, like a natural stain that you'd use on pine that gives it kind of that gold color. Next, I used a little Maker Brand Simple Finish. Uh, this stuff is amazing and I, I really hope the depth of what this looks like translates onto camera. And this last one was kind of a surprise hit. I, uh, I got some sun bleach stain, and uh, when I put it on, it, it, it just looked gray. It looked like it washed all the contrast out. I was really bummed out. But once I wiped it off, oh, so good. Look at that. I really have to finish something like this now. It looks amazing. All right, guys, that's it. Hope you dig them. My neighbor's mowing his lawn. Seriously, man, how good is that? Look at that. Oh, oh look at those ridges. So good. So that has nothing to do with burnt wood finish or a uh, bond. If you like this video, do me a favor and subscribe down below. Weird statistic, 85% of the people that watch my videos don't subscribe to my channel. Guys, subscribe. Hit that little bell daily and it'll tell you when I have a new video out. Until next time, guys, thanks for playing. Let's get to work. Oh, wait. I didn't tell you about the last torch. I told you this torch has a very specific purpose, correct? And that is how you smoke a cocktail. See you next time.